welcome to the kitchen. Happy Friday, you guys. It's not Friday for me, but it's Friday for the rest of the world. At least in the actual days of the week, it is Friday. Sunday for me, back to work tomorrow. So I haven't painted for a few days. Um, yeah, I don't know, kind of, just kind of can't get my head into painting right now. So we're gonna do something super simple and see how that works. We are going to do a bloom transfer. Bloom transfer on, we're gonna put it, we're gonna build it here and then we're gonna put it down on a hexagonal tile. So my base is just a combination of white and beige color house paint in eggshell. And then my base that we're gonna put down on the tile is gonna be plain white. So first color is quinacridone nickel azo gold a very light quinacridone. Light, light, light. And this one is uh, Atelier Indian Yellow mixed with a little bit of Indian Oxide. And this one, this is new to me. This was an accident. This is Atelier Blue Black, which I have never used before. Um, I grabbed it and thought I had black. Of course, I didn't have my glasses on and all I saw was black. And I first pour I used, it was like, oh my God, that's not black, but it's beautiful. It's a beautiful blue black. Okay, darker quinacridone. And then this one is Atelier Indian Red. And then because it's quite dark, we are going to use white and black cell mix. White first. And then black, remember we're not looking for composition of blooms. We're just looking for some pretty colors, you guys, because we're gonna transfer it. All right, let's blow this out. So it doesn't look like much. It doesn't look like anything. But we are going to pick it up and we're going to move it. So we are just going to keep that like that. We might kind of blow that out a little bit more. We'll just extend that a little bit. All right. We have lots of color hiding under there, which will work out really nicely because like we keep saying, we are going to pick it up and we're gonna transfer it. So we're gonna put it onto this hexagon tile. We're gonna give it a little white because I didn't do a very good job at washing it. And then we're going to flood our tile with just plain white paint this time. And I'm hoping that the beige that we put underneath our bloom has enough of a variation in it that it adds a little bit of contrast between the white. But it might not. We might not put them up. I'm not sure. All right, I have no walls up. So we're going to try to do this as tidily as possible. So first, we are just going to spread this around. Yeah, you guys, you know how I'm sure it happens to all of you. You just get into kind of this, or at least I do, kind of this blue funk mood where I just don't want to paint and I want to paint, but I don't want to mix up the colors and I don't want to clean up the mass and I don't like anything. And yeah, it's kind of where I am right now. I have no inspiration. I want to watch TV, but I don't know what to choose. You know, just kind of a weird, a weird space. All right. Usually painting is therapy and it makes me feel better about everything. But lately, hasn't been the way. Now I can't find my torch. All right, you guys. Oh, please, 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 please find it. There it is. All right. Quick little torch. 
few little bubbles in this paint. I think that's one of the things. Anybody that works with glitter paints, you guys deserve you guys deserve a medal because I think glitter paint is the worst paint ever. I have never had any kind of success with it, whether I leave it open or I I close it. So this is actually this white is actually from Canadian Tire. It's better, but it's still not great. All right, enough whining about my paint, you guys. So let's transfer our bloom. So we're just going to pick it up with, of all things, this is a really fancy transfer tool, you guys. This is just the top off a candy container. Great value candies from Walmart. I just cut it in a circle. So I had a conversation, a quick texting conversation with a lady, and I wasn't 100% sure what she was asking me, but she wanted wide lines with spaces between. And so I'm trying to answer the question to the best of my ability. And sometimes what you're asking and what I'm understanding is considerably different. So I believe what she is saying is that in order to get your wide lines, start with a wide tool. So the wider you begin, the wider your lines are going to be when you finish. Um, you know, this is going to spread. So the other thing I had suggested is that if you want to keep your cells, because we know our paint spreads outwards, then try to put your cells closer to the center and then you'll keep some cells. Hopefully, not always. Okay, same thing. We're going to let this slide down. And just pick it up so I'm not even sure that my paints are are working correctly so I'm gonna leave this flat so I am doing nothing more than creating shapes that's all I'm doing and the way that I move my hand um, and lay the paint down, you can create these shapes and ribbons. And I am learning just like you, so I'm trying to kind of figure out to place the shapes where I want them. It doesn't always work in my favor. All right, let's do this. So my colors are quite pretty, I believe. I think the other thing with this technique, guys, is less is more. Like I have way too much paint on here, guaranteed. Kids are ordering pizza for dinner tonight, which means I don't have to cook for myself. Works for me. All right, let's give this a bit of a spin again. That is a whack of paint. I really like all of this. I'm not so totally fond of that. So I think as much as that's the area with the cells, I think we're going to lose some of this. It's not all about the cells for me. Okay, and then we're going to come down here.
Well, I think we can do better. I'm sure that we can do better. Um, 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 um. So I wonder whether there's something I've never done. Can we puddle a bit of that and maybe bloom it? Or should I just try to swipe it? Let's just try to swipe that section again because I'm not totally thrilled with that. And I really need something lighter in there. So let's maybe go with some of the ochre. And then some white cell mix. And then we'll just blow it out. Okay, let's just give that a second and let's just put another ribbon through there. It's going to be completely different and that's okay. I'm going to come in over here. Well, it's not amazing, you guys, but it's okay. Oh, let's give it a little spin. All right, guys, well, it's kind of following in my same direction of painting. I'm not super thrilled with it. Um, yeah, it's just been a weird, it's been a weird few days for painting for me, and that's just kind of the way it goes sometimes. I'm going to just dump some of this off. Okay, let's just look at it for a second. I think if I took some of the paint off, it would improve the thing a little bit. You're just going to keep farting around. Okay. 
you can take it off and you can put it on you guys you don't always have to be satisfied if you don't like it just scrape it off and start again which is pretty much I believe what we are going to do with this we are going to scrape this off and we are going to start again because as pretty as the colors are or we can modify you guys let's let's play with it before we completely scrape it good idea all right let's go in I have no idea what that is so I apologize for that banging downstairs You're pouring in a construction zone, you guys. All right, well, this is, uh, we're just going to keep going with this. So this is just a really easy way to maybe turn something that you've poured into something you don't like into something that you like. And sometimes it's just as simple as, oh my goodness, making some lines and some curly cues which we're going to do in a minute that totally changes the dynamics of your piece sorry minute of concentration there all right let's get my curly cues my curler thingies wherever it's gone um I wasn't ready to modify, so hang on, guys. Break out a new, a new thing because my other ones are in the dishwasher, which is the sink because I don't have a dishwasher. All right, uh, kebab sticks. I believe Elise got these from Amazon. These are awesome. They're nice. They're solid metal. They're totally washable. And they have a really nice big ball. So we're just going to put it, we're going to start there because that's kind of the section that I pulled together. And we're just going to lift up as we go and give it a nice little curly cue. So these ones... These ones have a pretty cool end. These ones have a flat end, and most of them come down like a toothpick, but this one is a round flat end. So it's pretty cool to play with because you can make some really interesting designs. So I'm just gonna start here, and we're just gonna basically kind of walk it down. This line's not the best because it's not contrasting. But if we do, let's do the one above it. So we're gonna just go down this pale blue. And just walk it. Just make little, little lines all the way down. It kind of pinches your paint together and creates this funky little chain. Um, some colors are better than others. That wasn't the greatest. The darker color is really pretty. Let's try. Let's try to do between the reds and the greens. Give 
doesn't really do it either, but it makes nice little lines between the beige. So I'm okay with all of this except this big blotch of yellow, which is a, just a bit much for me. So let's just curl a few more little pieces. So I think I say this every time, if your little curly cues aren't holding, come back in like 15, 20 minutes later and just give them all a half a twist because once your paint starts to set up, they will hold their shape for you. Oh my goodness, first construction, now my granddaughter. Can you hear her? Wow. What are we gonna do with this? I don't know you guys, what am I gonna do with that? So this one right here wasn't holding, so we're just gonna go back. And if it's still not perfect or not the way I'm happy with it, we can go back. So I was asked this just the other day about whether I add two pieces after I shut the camera off, and I do. And it's not because it's a great secret, it's just because I go back and look at it and I think, oh, I should have done this or I could have done that or that would be better if, and then I, I just start tweaking things a little bit. So I'm gonna try to add everything I'm going to add right now, or at the time when I do the piece, and not go back in, because I know it's confusing, because you haven't seen me do it, and all of a sudden, there it is. It's all the same moves, nothing, I don't ever add any kind of new tricky thing, it's just all the same stuff. the measles so it's hard to see but just a simple just pop it down and pull it up creates these delicate little edges and it really just adds interest to this piece something different Just a little bit of texture. All right, you guys, I'm gonna quit there. I'm not thrilled with the yellow, which I have said multiple times, um, but it's okay. It's definitely modified. My colors are nice and saturated. I really, really like this blue-black color. It's really, really pretty. Um, I'll try to bring you guys down for a kind of a little flyby. Let's see how we do. All right, here we go. So you can see, no, you can't see because I have it locked. If I unlock it on 
the lighting, then I'll lose the focus. So I'm going to love you and leave you here, you guys. I'd like to bring you guys in and show you these little tiny details, but I can't without losing you. Um, so that's it. I'm going to end off here. Thank everybody for joining me in the messy kitchen tonight, you guys. Uh, I'm definitely kind of in a blue funk, so I'll try to get myself in happier, better spirits and paint again really soon. All right, my friends, for happy, stay safe. We'll talk really, really soon, you guys. Bye for now.